Async await with fetch in JavaScript is amazing, but you might be using it wrong. First, we're not handling errors at all here, so let's fix that. And maybe we'll handle the error somehow and rethrow it so our code doesn't continue. So you might think, okay, because we got the error, we can start using the user. Except fetch doesn't throw errors for non-200 HTTP statuses. So user is just the raw response. That could be a 401, a 400, a 404. Now we can handle that with checking res.ok. So if not red ok, let's throw an error. And that's ok, but there could be many different errors. It could be unauthorized, it could be missing, it could just be an internal server error, or even a bad request. When we handle this error, we don't get any of that information. What was the status? What was the body? What was the message? So our error logs will just say, bad stuff happened. I'd rather, when handling the error, know what the cause of the error was. That's where a handy new feature in JavaScript can help us. We can supply the cause and add any structured data here that we want. So maybe we'll just pass the response. Now, when we handle the error, for instance, we can create a switch based off of the error cause response status and handle each various status code in any special way we want, either unique to this request, or maybe we have a generic handle function that will do that for us, like alerting the user if the request is unauthorized, or for a 400 say, oh, this is probably our fault, please report the bug to us. Now we can feel confident that when we're using the user object, actually have a user object.